Hey guys, it's Paul Haddad here, and in this video, let's go and see the current results we have in OpenDSS for a snapshot simulation. So before we go to the computer, I'd like to ask you to give uh, you know the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you are new here, and hit the bell button so we'll be able be able to to see when I upload any new video. So go to the computer. Um, I have already solved this circuit and now we are going to see some current results. Again, we have two main options, uh, one using the show menu and other the export menu. Under the show menu, we have uh, three options, current sec, current element and current element residual. So uh, looking at the first one, current sequence. What we have here, we have a, a symmetri symmetrical com component current uh, by element. So for instance, if you look at the transformer here, we have um, the symmetrical components for each terminal. We have the first terminal of our uh, transform sub and here we have uh, the positive current, the uh, negative current, and we have the zero current. And here we have the ratio, E2, E1, and the ratio uh, E0, E1. We also have here uh, the normal, percentage normal and percentage emergency. Um, you also can go to the lines again to terminals and we have the the uh, components for the first terminal and the second terminal right uh, one thing that is interesting is that the emergence and the normal those values are just for the first terminal so you can see here this line just the first terminal has those numbers just the first terminal has those numbers. And when you go to loads, since a load has just one terminal, you have here uh, the components E1, E2, and E0. Again, another important aspect here is that for no three phase elements, such as some of those voltages, uh, those loads, I'm sorry, and some of the lines, they are not three phase lines you will see zero for uh, E2 and zero for E0, right? So again, very similar to what we saw in the voltage report that we just had V1 is the same thing here. One thing that I'd like to show you is that how OpenDSS calculates uh, those two numbers, the normal and the emergency for a line. So let's for, first look at this line here line the name of that is 650 632 so okay how we calculate it so if you go to OpenSS and you use the form edit for that line you can get the properties that OpenSS has used it to calculate those numbers so we can go here and uh, line I know that line is a PD element so we can go here, line, and then let's look at that line, 650632, yes. And then you just press uh, hit here, the uh, form edit. So when you see the form edit, uh, OpenSS will tell us that the normal amps property is 400 uh, amps and the emergency amps is 600. Okay, very nice. Uh, I'll close it now. I know that uh, one's 400 or uh, the other is 600. Let me just do one thing here uh, that we can follow. Uh, I'll open some Python here and do some calculation. So I have Python, you can use your calculator. It doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna save a normal amp uh, amps equal 400 and I'm gonna save here uh, emergent 
amps uh, equal 600. Okay, right, so I have saved those guys. I can close the form edit for now. Let me come back to this guy. So how OpenSS uses to get, you know, which number OpenSS uses to get these normal um, and these emergence numbers. So what OpenSS does, OpenSS uses, let me go to current elements. I'm gonna explain this file in a second, but if you go to that element, that line, which is this line, OpenSS will look at the first terminal and OpenSS will get the max current of the terminal. And as you can see, in node 3, we have this current, this magnitude, which is greater than the others. So I can get here, go to my Python, and I will say e max will be this guy, right? And then what OpenSS do to calculate those numbers here, 1, 4, 7, 9, 8, OpenSS will get for calculating the 1 for 7, you're gonna get Emax and divide by more amps. Of course, times 100, right? So that's the number we have. The other is 98. What OpenSS does, Emax divide by emergence amps. And 98, of course, times 100. Okay, very nice. Now, what OpenSS does for a transformer? So let's get transformer here. Let's get this transformer sub. So 80 and 59. So what we can do, we can go to uh, the report. I, I'm going to explain in a second, but we have an idea here. It's uh, the element type of report. We have the sub transformer and we have the current. So uh, at the first uh, terminal, we have 22.284 as the max current. Don't let me save it there for a second. It max and transformer. Okay, this is a current and then uh, let's go now to OpenSS. Look that transformer again. It's a PD transformer and then sub this guy. Form edit. Let's try to find normal amp and emergence amp, and, and that's it, right? Uh, actually, if you try, you're gonna find here 27612 and 37653 so i can use those numbers I'll, I'll just calculate one all right but uh i'm not sure if i can, can, can copy it Co copy yes yeah, so let's go to python and uh, normal amps transformer and then that's it and then i'm gonna calculate what we have as normal for the transformer and um, divide by norm amps there and then we have 80.7 which is basically what we see here very interesting though that this normal amp that we just saw 27612 is not really calculated based on the uh, KVA of the transformer. It's actually calculated based on this property here, norm KVA, which by default, norm KVA, it's 1.1 times KVA, right? That's how OpenSS defines. And emergence KVA it's actually 1.5 times KVA. So just bear that in mind, very important. So if I would calculate it, I would calculate these NOR amps, I would do some something like that. I would get uh, 5500, which is the norm KVA here. 
and then I'm gonna divide by the line to line voltage of this transformer, the, the, the first terminal, which is 115. 115 and then I'm gonna divide uh, by 1.73 which is uh, square root of 3 and it's 7 27 16 it's very similar because my 171.73 it's just you know very I uh, just stop in the second um, decimal all right so just keep that in mind for the transformer the norm amps is is based on 1.1 kVA and uh, the emergency 1.5 kVA for the, the the conductors for the lines is ba is basically the numbers we define okay very uh, interesting that just keep that in mind I'll close it so we talked about the sequence again we we, we saw everything here the next one is um elements right I was using it but Again, elements, we have current results based on elements. And for each element, we have uh, the buses to terminals, for this case, to buses, and also the nodes. It's interesting to see the, here again that this file is divided by power delivery elements at the beginning. And if you go further, uh, you have the power conversion elements. Um, another interesting thing to see here is that for uh, transformers we have the node 0 and we have this current which uh, is basically if we if we do if we apply the Kirchhoff's current law uh, at this area and you're gonna see that if you we do the algebraic some of all those currents you're gonna see that it's gonna be zero right it means that uh, we have here in this case four nodes one two three and four and the currents that are going to the first three nodes it's actually minus the current that is going to this node so but open SS defines all the currents going into the element into the terminal uh, so yeah that's you, you can use here this calculation and see that it's gonna be zero um, yeah for for transformers we have that and for, for lines you have the two terminals and the phasers here in the polar form you know polar form and the rectangular form and that's about it nothing interesting more than that in this file we can also go to show element residuals so in this residual file the thing is that besides uh, all the nodes we have a current that is basically the sum of all the phase currents that we have for each terminal so for instance if you go to a transformer uh, we expect for all the transformers to be zero uh, you know for ground why grounded I need to double check for Delta other connections but in this example you can see that it's zero uh, and for lines here sorry uh, for lines you see that basically those phasers those numbers are you if you sum all if you do the algebraic sum of all those currents the phase currents for the nodes you're gonna have this number and it basically means that the current that is flowing into the ground right um, so we have that when you have a zero sequence current flowing um, and that's because our circuit is not balanced right so yeah much you can get a lot of information from from that but it's just what OpenSS is doing so I'm gonna close it and I guess that's all for this video again I uh, thanks so much for guys for for being here with me and again Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button, leave your comments, suggestions, that would be lovely. I uh, really enjoy being here guys, doing videos for you, and you know, I hope to see you in the next video.